Pluto, Hades, and Dispater are all referred to as the Roman gods of the dead. However, the most well-known and widely recognized Roman god of the dead is Pluto. In Roman mythology, Pluto is the god of the underworld and the ruler of the dead. He is often depicted as a stern and regal figure, wielding a two-pronged staff and wearing a dark, flowing robe. Pluto is often associated with wealth and the riches found in the earth. In fact, the word plutocracy is derived from his name, reflecting his association with the power and influence that come from the earth's resources. As the god of the underworld, Pluto presides over the realm of the dead, where he rules with an iron fist and enforces the laws of the afterlife. In Roman mythology, Pluto is the equivalent of the Greek god Hades. Hades is also the god of the underworld and the ruler of the dead in Greek mythology. Like Pluto, he is often depicted as a fearsome and imposing figure, with a three-headed dog named Cerberus at his side. Hades is a powerful and formidable deity, and he commands the respect and fear of all who dwell in the underworld. In addition to Pluto and Hades, the Roman god of the dead is also known as Dispater. Dispater is a less well-known deity, but he is still an important figure in Roman mythology. Like Pluto and Hades, Dispater is associated with the underworld and the realm of the dead. He is often depicted as a stern and formidable figure, similar to Pluto and Hades in his appearance and demeanor. While there are subtle differences between Pluto, Hades, and Dispater, they are all ultimately representations of the same concept, the Roman god of the dead. Each of these deities embodies the fearsome and awe-inspiring power of death and the afterlife, and they are all revered and feared in equal measure by mortals and immortals alike. The worship of Pluto, Hades, and Dispater was an important aspect of Roman religious life, and many rituals and ceremonies were dedicated to appeasing these powerful deities. In particular, the Roman festival of the Lemuria was held in honor of the dead and the underworld, and it was believed that appeasing Pluto, Hades, and Dispater during this time would ensure the protection and well-being of the living. Pluto, Hades, and Dispater were also associated with the concept of wealth and abundance, as well as the Earth's natural resources. They were often called upon to bless crops and ensure a bountiful harvest, and their favor was sought by those seeking to amass wealth and prosperity. In this way, the Roman god of the dead was seen as a powerful and benevolent force, capable of bestowing both material and spiritual blessings upon those who honored and worshipped him. In conclusion, Pluto, Hades, and Dispater are all referred to as the Roman gods of the dead. Each of these deities embodies the fearsome and awe-inspiring power of death and the afterlife, and they are all revered and feared in equal measure by mortals and immortals alike. Their worship was an important aspect of Roman religious life, and their favor was sought by those seeking protection, prosperity, and abundance. Whether known as Pluto, Hades, or Dispater, the Roman god of the dead remains a powerful and formidable figure in the pantheon of Roman mythology.